taking a look at her career accomplishments, I mean, the list just goes on. This graphic almost isn't big enough. She's a two-time NCAA individual champion, part of Stanford's uh, team championship victory in 2022 as well. She won the 2020 U.S. Women's Amateur, the 2021 U.S. Girls Junior Champion. She spent more time as the number one ranked amateur in the world than any other woman. And with the win at the Mizuho, Zhang became the first player to win in her professional debut on the LPGA since Beverly Hansen back in 1951. So get this, in just her third start as a professional, Roseanne comes in to the US Women's Open, the oldest major championship in the women's game as the red hot favorite. She is at plus 1200, which is pretty remarkable. That's uh, favorited over world number one, Jin Young Ko, world number two, Nelly Korda, Atai Sakun, Huju Kim. These are some of the most informed players in the game. And your defending champion, Minji Lee, is at plus 2200. So. It's remarkable to think, but it really comes as no surprise, Beth Ann. When you look at her record here, she set the new women's uh, course record at Pebble Beach at the Curtis Cup just last fall. She's played in numerous US Women's Opens already. How much does it sort of blow your mind that she is the betting favorite this week? <laughs> well, you know, I, I said that I felt last week, I said I felt like she was the favorite coming into this event. And I kind of looked around like, I'm, is that hyperbolic? Is that a little over the top? I'm not really sure. But so I actually feel good to see those best, sports best because I feel like that's how we all kind of feel inside. And that's what a lot of fans are thinking, the same thing, you know? It's really an incredible start. And I think a lot of that comes down to just the poise that she possesses at, at the tender age of 20, and she just looks so comfortable out there. So, you, you know, you combine the fact that she's coming to a place where she has so much familiarity and, and, and so many good vibes, and then coming off of, of this tremendous start to her professional career, why not? And, we're, and where we're at, you know, and just the fact that we're, what, an hour and a half from where she went to college, and of course where she went to college and her dominance there would inevitably lead to the comparisons to Tiger Woods, which whenever that happens, uh, they, they quickly get criticized, but I don't <laughs> know that these are unjustified because it's not too many people that have ever gotten the better of Tiger Woods when you match up career versus career, especially... Uh, considering what Tiger Woods did at Stanford. But when you take a look what Tiger Woods did at Stanford and Rose Zhang had did at Stanford, um, you're, you know, of course, uh, you know, we go back to the U.S. Open. We talk about what Tiger Woods did here in 2000. You know, it was uh, inevitable when he teed off on Sunday that he was going to be the champion. It was just about uh, by how much he was going to win. Of course, the dominant tee shots like that at the the second teeing off, and then, of course, the, the putt here for par at the 15th, or at the 16th, I think, said a lot about Tiger Woods. I mean, it looked like he had a one-shot lead and was trying to keep it. You'd have never guessed that he was leading by such a wide margin. Uh, but again, it's Rose Zhang and her success here, breaking the course record, shattering the course record, shooting 63 here en route to a wide margin of victory at the Carmel Cup in 2022, which... You know, went on to be just an epic year for Rose Zhang. And you compare, again, what Tiger and Rose Zhang had done in their college careers, and you'll see, well, their first two starts uh, as professionals, uh, Tiger Woods and Rose Zhang similarly ranked, because Tiger had played about a dozen or so events by then uh, in professional golf, although he was an amateur. Uh, and his T60 start didn't make much of a dent, but uh, moved up more than 100 spots by finishing 11th. By contrast, take a look at Rose Zhang, who won her first professional start, and then 8th at the KPMG. And so all of a sudden, she's 45th. It's not often that you talk about somebody who's 45th in the world rankings, who is the favorite, the betting favorite in a golf tournament. But again, these comparisons, I think they're, they're one thing to have them on paper, but it's another to look at the golf swings uh, of these two. And there are some similarities uh, just in the width that they take the, the club away from the golf ball. Of course, Tiger moves more into his right side there. You can see that more into his right side, whereas Rosang is sort of resisting into her right side and turning against her right side. Tiger's moved into it, but the width is still there. And you see that width at the top of the golf swing uh, with this really upright move that both of them have. I mean, that's where you're able to elevate shots, hit them high, land them soft, get to tucked pins. Of course, certainly a lot of power comes from that. Tiger, again, more moved to his right, uh, but at the top, they have a lot of similarities. But I think you really see the similarities when they start on the way down with their knees kicking towards the target, right knee kicking in. Look at all that angle that Roseng has retained, very similar to Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is a little bit more out in front of him with the golf club, where Rose is a little bit more shallow with the club behind her. So she's going to hit it a little bit lower because she's more on top of it, not quite as high as Tiger Woods. But both of them at impact 
extend their left leg. And, and this is where the power really comes from. That's where they squeeze every inch of power out of their frames. Tiger Woods, again, more behind it, so that's why he's likely to hit a little bit farther relative uh, to his peers than Rosang and a little bit higher. But again, at the full finish, you see this athleticism, this great athleticism. Uh, and uh, again, you know, you just harken back to what these two did at the uh, at, at Stanford. Of course, Rosang with, uh, you know, eclipsing Tiger Woods' win record there, winning two NCAA championships, the first to win back to back. Uh, so it's inevitable that uh, she comes in here and we talk about her as the favorite. Uh, there's the college uh, careers stacked up against one another. Uh, Tiger Woods with 11 wins. You see it with Rosang. One more in the NCAA regionals and national titles there. Tiger did win a regional and also won the NCAAs. But, of course, Rosang won back-to-back -back NCAAs and two Annika awards.